Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie Jade, and today I have a brand new video for you all. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the brand new Revolution XTC Poison Ivy Palette. I'm so excited for this, so it's gonna get straight on with today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. A few days ago I did the Harley palette from the collection and now today we're going to be doing a review on the Poison Ivy one. So first off, this is what it looks like. I am obsessed. I think the packaging is so on theme, on brand, it looks so good. It also feels like such an autumnal palette. When we open it up, this is what it looks like. So this is the colour story. Like I said, super autumnal. And then you can see the mirror here. I think the mirror actually looks really cool. Like I think it looks so good. I love it. It's just so on theme. I think we've put a lot into the packaging for this product. I am so excited to get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my W7 concealer as an eye primer. It's actually a really nice concealer. I am wearing it today. Apart from my blush, I've actually got a full face of W7 on right now. And I'm sorry, but it's stunning. It is a stunning base. I love it. I think it just... It just works. I really like it. I'm going to just pat this in with a beauty blender. And turn on this side. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to dip into this palette. So I want to go in with the green first. I think I'm going to use this light one here, which is called Vines. I've also got like really cute little imprints on there, if you can see them. on the just. So I'm going to go in with Vines first. It feels quite crumbly, so hopefully it's really pigmented. Oh wow, a lot just came off then. It's going to start right on the inner corner. Oh, that is such a pretty colour. I've complained about greens so many times on my page, but I feel like there's not very many green eyeshadow palettes out there that are just nice greens. Like you either got really swampy greens, you can get pastels, but again, they're not very pigmented usually, the pastel greens. But I've gone through my palettes before and just tried to find like a gorgeous green. And you just can't get that many. But this one, this is stunning. I love, love, love the shade. But normally most greens are like really, either really dark, really swampy or khaki. Or they're just, you don't get many greens like this. I'm really happy with this so far. It's gorgeous. So excited for this look. I really want to try these shimmers as well because they look unreal. So in the palette, you actually get three shimmers and six mattes, which I think is an absolute dream kind of combination. I don't like having too many shimmers, like a ratio of shimmers to mattes. You need more mattes than shimmers in my opinion. And this one I think is just like the perfect ratio. So this is blending out like an absolute dream. It's applied really well. Absolutely love that so far. So what we're going to go in with next, I think we're going to try, I'm going to try the shade Poison Ivy here and run this through my crease. It's a bit like a nude, but like a, a bit of a warm toned nude. And I'm just running this really gently through my crease from like the centre towards the corner. I thought like this is going to be our transition shade. And do you know what? I feel like we were right there. That's blending gorgeously quite seamlessly actually between the two shades if that palette's like this and i just give me some inspiration just sitting down and just looking at a palette and be like okay let's do it and just trying something different you see the different color combinations in the palette and you can be really inspired and that's sometimes where the best looks can come from okay that one i would say is definitely a lot less pigmented than the green but i think that's a good thing so i don't think that kind of shade needs to be really highly pigmented i love the way that that's blended into the green though i think that is just perfect okay absolutely love that we're gonna go in next with the shade toxins i think which if you look at it in certain lights it's got a very slight spark like a little bit of glitter in there which is kind of cool i like it and i'm just gonna blend that more towards the outer corner Blending it off the colour we've just applied. And then winging it a little bit. Oh, it's such a pretty palette. The orange is quite pigmented. I'd say it's more like on the same level as the green was. 
It's such a gorgeous shade of orange as well. It's a really nice, bright, just feels so autumnal. I love it. And what I'm going to do, just intensify, intensify is that a word? Well, it is now anyway. So I'm going to use the shade Copper just to make the look a look a little bit more intense, a look look. <laughs> um, just to make it a bit more intense, I'm just going to place that right into my crease at the outer corner. I'm just going to really gently buff that back and forth. Same thing on this side, just placing it right into my crease and just buffing it into there. Apply so nice. I feel like it really makes your eyes look so much defined, like just having a nice colour just buffed into the crease. You usually want a little bit deeper than what you're using. For me, it really works anyway. So we're just blending that out and buffing that through. I love it. I'm just going to blend this one a little bit better. But this one's gone a little bit rogue and a little bit high up. Again, just rubbing that through the crease. This is now how it's looking. We're going to do a nice gentle blend again with that poison ivy mixed with toxins. And I'm just gently tickling that around the outer corner of my lid there and then same thing on this side just gently mix those two together and just tickling that around the edge oh that is so pretty I love it like do I want the orange to be a bit more intense or should we kind of leave it I'm going to do a little bit more with the shade Toxins and we're just blending that off the edge and we're just bringing it up a little bit more, making it look just that little bit brighter. Same thing on this side. Just making it that little bit brighter and a little bit higher. I don't want it to be too intense. Okay. This is how it's looking. I actually really like it. I was expecting to like this palette, but I wasn't really sure what we were going to come up with. But I'm actually really happy with it. What I think I want to do... I want to use some shimmers, but I'm not exactly sure how we're going to use them yet. Let's have a look at that shade. So the chlorophyll shade is quite a dark green. I don't think I want to use that. So I want to use this Mother Nature and then Dr. Pamela, I think it is, yeah. Those two are the shimmers and I'm really feeling them both. Do you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go in with the shade Mother Nature because that one is just calling my name. I'm going to do that as kind of like a bit of a halo down the centre. And then we're going to like blend over the edges. I think that is going to be the best way to do it. I'm going to go in with those darker colours right on the outer corner of my lid buff them into the centre using a mixture of the two darker oranges and then I'm going to go in with the green and do the same thing with the green on the inner corner I'm just doing this eye first so now we're going in with the green the shade vines and I'm just going over that there I've just flipped my brush by the way for this using the same one just flipped it and that there. So we've got the lid covered. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the cut crease. For this, I'm going to use my KVD concealer. This is such a good one. I need a new P. Louise one because absolutely to die for. So for this, I'm using the Nia Precision Eyeshadow Brush. I'm using the KVD concealer. So I'm going to get some of this on the back of my hand. I haven't used this one for a while, but I do absolutely love it. It's the coverage for me, it really is. I need to have a proper stock up on all my P. Louise bits. Okay, that's up there. And now we're going to start to carve this out. So I'm just going to do the initial shape. I'm going to stamp that on there and then bring it down. We do the same thing on this eye because I'm going to try to keep them as equal as we can. Flipping my brush. I'm going to try to use just like the very top of my brush now. Like just that edge if that makes sense. Just to 
have where that halo part's gonna be. Okay, same thing on this eye. Okay, this is how it's looking. Now it's time to do a little bit of blending with it. So I'm just gonna pat off the excess product onto the back of my hand. And then I'm just tapping the sides of that there to help blend. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my finger right on the edges. Just kind of like diffuse this out. I'm just gonna keep tapping until I'm happy with it. I'm basically just tapping the edges with my finger. Focusing on getting more on the bottom and the top and then less in the middle so it gets like skinnier in the middle. I'm going to do the same thing with my brush over and over until I'm happy with how it's looking. So this is now how it's looking. I'm gonna go back in with that green and then just start to buff that green back into that centre. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the orange. I'm just gonna zoom in because you can see a little bit better how it is going here. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna go in with that orange and I'm just gently buffing that into the centre, trying to avoid the top and the bottom. So that's how it's looking. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side and then I'll be back for the glitter. So now I'm happy with the blend of that, we're gonna add the shimmer, which I'm excited about. So going in with this center shade here, I'm just going to use my finger to apply it. It looks so pretty. And I'm just gently patting that over that crease of supply, that um, concealer. My brain didn't wanna work then. So if I'm honest, it's not as pigmented as I expected, so it's gonna get a little bit more. I'm just going over that. We will be blending it in a little bit with the colours again. So it's going to go in with that. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's not as pigmented as I expected it to be. It's really pretty, but it's not as intense as I thought it was going to be. I'm just going over it with that shade again. I like to build it up. So this is now the finished look. This is how it's looking. And honestly, I'm so impressed by that palette. I love that green. It is so bright and so pretty. Everything was so easy to blend. It's really nice, small and compact. You can stick this in your bag. It goes so well with the Harley one. Overall, if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be the Poison Ivy one. I think they're both gorgeous. I'd love to hear your thoughts which your favorite is though. Just a reminder for anyone that didn't see the video, this is inside the Harley one. And this is inside the Poison Ivy one. They're both stunning. I, yeah, I love them both. I think the look that I did more, I think I preferred the highlight look that I completed more. But I love this palette more out of both of them. I think I'm just feeling those like autumnal vibes right now. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Leave me a lovely little comment. And don't forget to subscribe as well because it means the world to me. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.